Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. This video will be reviewing the video game known as Anvil Vault Breaker Game Preview. Anvil Vault Breaker is an isometric top-down multiplayer roguelike action shooter. You control characters called Vault Breakers to find relics and stied vaults on a few various galaxies. I am currently playing the Anvil Vault Breaker Game Preview on Xbox Game Pass, so what you see now might not be indicative of the full game upon launch. There are currently three galaxies to play through, with the first galaxy basically being a tutorial run of five random missions with random map layouts and monster spawn. As you play, you will find shops that sell random relics that will empower your Vault Breaker character. This is the RPG element of the roguelike genre. At the end of each run, you have a chance to learn one of the random relics you found on that run. If you completed that galaxy, then the chance to learn a random random relic becomes guaranteed to learn something provided one of the relics has not already been previously learned. Before you start a new run, you can socket up to four of your learned relics into your character to give you a little edge on completing that run. There are 12 unique different vault breakers to choose from. The first four play like DPS shooters. The next four play like melee tanks. And the final four are shooters with support oriented abilities. Each one of the 12 breakers definitely do play very differently from each other. Even though they have their generalized role set out. Also, you can equip one of currently five different minion pets that also give you a passive bonus. And you can have your seasonal upgrades where you can slowly level up different passives that will affect your character. But these do get reset every season. So as you can see here, there are many relics that you could find and eventually learn. And a lot of them can be increased even further if you were to purchase the same skill multiple times over and also there are many random weapons that you can acquire and each and each of the 12 vault breakers have four of their own unique skills which also can be powered up as you play and those power-ups will be randomized every time you play so at the start of every run you'll be in a waiting room and you can have up to three players per run with the first tutorial galaxy only having a max of two players and as you can see here the field of view is always the same top down isometric angle and the first tutorial galaxy has five random planets as you can see here and when you start your run, you'll notice that each of the stages are completely randomized, as well as the enemies. And each character has four active abilities. One of them always being some type of defensive skill, like an evade or a block or a dash or a dodge. And the game is very fast paced and frantic. And while you play, as you can see here, you can also upgrade each one of those four abilities. And you're definitely going to need those upgrades because the game can get very difficult very fast. Now, the first galaxy is actually pretty easy. It's very difficult to die. But once you beat that one and go straight to the second galaxy, it can get very difficult very fast. Now, the enemies have multiple different types of attacks. Some of them have melee. Some of them have slow-moving energy balls that are possible to dodge. And some of them have really quick laser beams. So you want to try your best to learn all the attack patterns of all the monsters. Also, as you play, 
you will find these shops scattered around the stage where you can look to see what relics are available to purchase and to see what you want. And then when you purchase them, they get added to your character passively and you'll see them in the bottom left hand of your screen. And there'll be those little hexagon icons. So as you can see, I'm going to open up a shop and there's a relic chest and you can purchase any of them provided you have accumulated enough currency. So here's a good example. There are three different relics I can choose from. And at the top underneath where it says relic chest, I have 308 or 309 currency. And at the bottom of each one of the relics is the price. So currently all three of these cost 120. And once you've decided if you want to purchase any of them, you can do so, but you can only purchase each one of them once per shop. And then as you go through the stage, you eventually will find the objective that you need to beat in order to progress to the next stage. Usually it's something like kill some type of boss monster or defeat a boss room once you find it or locate it. And these bosses can be very difficult especially on the second and the third galaxy. So I'm going to show you an example of a boss fight. So here we are fighting the Medusa's eye and it has currently four bars of life. And as you can see here, there's a lot of slow moving bullets that you can dodge. But then also there are also boss type attacks like an AOE. There are beam attacks that the other monsters are doing. Now, currently I'm doing this on the tutorial stage, so it's actually very easy. But in the harder difficulties, some of these can be like one shots, like this laser beam. At the higher difficulties, if you get hit by it, pretty much gonna die or take a large amount of damage unless you're a tank with super high defense and even then it's going to hurt really bad so there's a lot of things that you have to keep track of while you're playing keep track of your own character keep track of the enemies and their attack but the game can be very intense and it can be very fun i am thoroughly enjoying the game so far but there are some gripes that i do have one of them being that the difficulty curve is extremely steep the first tutorial planet is extremely easy which is nice but after you defeat the tutorial galaxy and you go to the second galaxy the difficulty ramps up enormously there isn't a very good linear curve it just goes from very easy to extremely difficult and uh, where i'm at in the game so far while i haven't clocked in that many hours i still have not beaten the second galaxy yet now i can understand because there's only a total of three galaxies currently but it would have been nice if they had tuned the difficulty to be more gradual i guess is the word i'm looking for basically the first galaxy is extremely easy which is nice because it gives you the chance to learn how the game plays but i wish the second galaxy wasn't dramatically much more difficult so the game can ease you into the higher difficulty so i think they're lacking one transitional difficulty area in between the first and the second galaxy now i'm not saying to make the game easier i'm just saying that i personally would have liked one more step in difficulty above the first area because i gotta say that second galaxy is is brutal absolutely brutal and you're coming right out of the gates of a very very easy galaxy before that either way this is just a game preview and i hope when the game fully launches that the developers will address the difficulty scaling but for my final bit of the review i must say i can definitely recommend this to anybody who likes playing these type of games games like hades or smash tv or any other bullet hell type isometric shooter this game is is really fun thank you hope you enjoyed this video and if you did consider hitting that thumbs up hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell for future notifications on videos that i might be posting in the future and in case you're interested in supporting the channel even more i do have a merch website at streamlabs.com backslash dng dangerous backslash merch and until next time take care goodbye